Hello Masters, welcome back to Join Media. Today we're going to talk about the Weak Ally Cypress plugin. This is a plugin designed for performing configurable accessibility tests. It's a, It allows you to easily incorporate accessibility checks into your end-to-end -end tests, lock detailed information in the Cypress lock, and generate HTML documents with the screenshots of each violation for easier identification and resolution of accessibility issues all out of the box. So masters, we're going to start <clears throat> from the very uh, beginning. We're going to start installing Cypress, then we're going to incorporate this, the plugin into the framework. And I'm going to show you how it works with Cypress Run, Cypress Open. We're going to also see a, a new functionality that the plugin has. And it is, a, um, let me show you this, doo -doo -doo. let me look for it. There is a voice implementation. Let me show you this. This one, voice support. It is going to provide our audible information for accessibility issues at the suite level, test level, violation type, and DOM element level, helping users identify issues through voice feedback. I'm going to show you how it works, and I hope that you like this video. Hey, let's start. What we're going to start doing is pretty simple. I'm going to start with the command that we already know, right? npm init, and I'm going to use the first flag just to make sure that I have a package digestion with the standard structure, all right? Then I'm going to start installing Cypress using npm install, all right? There it is. Oh, I'm sorry. I used the incorrect command. It's npm install Cypress. I'm sorry, guys. All right, there it is. Now it is going to start the installation of Cypress. We're going to have a, a new dependency in our package JSON in a few seconds. And there it is. It is Cypress and the latest version that you can see over here at the moment that I'm recording this video. Then I'm going to use the command npx Cypress open and I'm going to make sure that everything is working fine and I have the correct Cypress installation working. There it is. Now we have an end-to-end -end testing here. It is not configured. It is going to ask us for um, create this scaffolding structure that it provides. So here it is. I'm going to click and continue. And then I'm going to click on Electron. I like that particular browser. <laughs> and there it is. Here we have the, um, well, this, this the standard structure of Cypress, as we already know, right? Here it is, everything that we need. And let's just start with the installation of this particular plugin. All right, masters, to install this plugin, it's very easy. You're going to need to download and install this dependency, Wikali. So if you want to, I have a free repository in GitHub. You can access it by join us, Kivel, slash uh, Cypress Week Ally here, right? And then uh, you can find this command over here, npm install and Week Ally. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to save it in my repository in my project. Okay, there it is, npm install Week Ally. There it is. So now I have the package installed. You can see the new dependency in my project and then how to configure it. You have the step here, the instruction in my repo as well. We're going to need to uh, register the plugin with a couple of configurations in our Cypress config JS. All right. So I'm going to open this Cypress config JS and I'm going to start importing the accessibility task from the plugin at the beginning of the file. Here it is. And then I'm going to need to set up a task like this one over here. So I'm going to do it. There it is. Now we have the task configured and also this particular import in place. Then I'm going to need to import this particular library in our end to end file. You let me look for it under the support and twent. I'm going to import it in the line 18, maybe, right? There it is. And then it's basically set up. <laughs> That's amazing, right? So I'm going to go to my end to end folder here and I'm going to start writing my first accessibility test. It's going to be pretty easy. It's a, a matter of one simple command and you're going to love it. Let's do it. All right, masters, as you can see under the Cypress folder and on the end to end folder, here we have a beautiful name, accessibility test.site.js. So I'm going to do it in my framework here under the end to end folder. I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to specify that beautiful name, accessibility test.site.js. All right. So now that I have this uh, file, I can, well, create the, this, the structure that we already know, right? Uh, mocha structure here. Uh, accessibility suite and then use the standard uh, syntax here right accessibility test and there it is 
So the command that we need to use in our its, all right, in our test scripts, it's a simple one. Let me show you this. This is the command, okay? Side that check accessibility. You can use a couple of parameters inside of these options. Uh, you can come uh, to the official repository, Wikili, and you can investigate that there are some options, some optional options that you can use. So uh, for instance, you can use context if I'm not wrong and also the options parameter. So I just want to let you know that you can come here and see the API reference section and learn more about that particular uh, configuration part. All right. So now that we have these masters, I just need to maybe <clears throat> visit the website, use, maybe using the for H a hook, right? And I'm gonna use the command side so that visit just to visit a particular website. In my case, masters, I'm gonna use the standard to do application that I always use. And of course, this is a simple demo. You can use it in every single page that you can imagine, <laughs> right? So first of all, we're gonna start using the command Cypress, MPX Cypress open to open the, uh, to run our Cypress test runner. So now I'm gonna click on end to end testing. I'm gonna select the Electron uh, browser for instance, and there it is. Here we have the accessibility test uh, JS file. So I'm gonna open it and then it's gonna start the journey, <laughs> right? So here it is. It is visiting the website and here we have the results masters. As you can see, uh, just using a particular uh, command, SIAC check as accessibility, uh, well, it is gonna work. It is gonna make the work for us uh, of checking the accessibility uh, aspects of our websites. In this case, masters, here we have a couple of issues, right? And well, as you can see in the in the test runner, here we have the report. Uh, we have a couple of uh, errors in our labels or well, areas to improve, <laughs> right? And basically they are critical. Here is the more info, let me see. And you can come here and see what is what is wrong, right? Um, however, masters, I also want to show you a beautiful HTML report that we have when I run the command mpx hypers run, okay? This is beautiful. Let me show you how it works. It is gonna run in our uh, browser using headless mode, right? And after a few seconds, here we have under the accessibility folder, right? A beautiful report. <laughs> Let me show you this. This is the report. And if I open it, uh, you can see exactly the violation. Okay, here it is. Um, if I over this, you can see what is wrong. Okay. And also here we have on a screenshot of the elements that has that have a, well, kind of violations, right? Over here. So I love this. This is awesome. And as you can see, it's an amazing report. At the top of the report, we, here we have the spec name, uh, how many critical, serious, moderate, and minor issues we have, the URL, the generated on date over here, uh, the tax that we're using, <laughs> right? It's awesome. So I just wanted to let you know that you can get the report from the Cypress run and the Cypress open at the same time, right? Um, all right, masters, I think that now it is, of course, there are lots of information in the official documentation. I just wanted to let you know that you can explore and check all the options that you have here and, and more explanation. I'm just doing a quick uh, POC, right? But uh, you can he keep come here and see the different usage examples and so on. So now, masters, I'm going to show you a how we can include the voice uh, the voice support, okay? Let's do it. All right, masters, let me show you this, uh, the accessibility voice. That's how it's called in the repository. Basically, this plugin provides user with audible information about the accessibility analysis results executed in the suite. How it is gonna work? It is only gonna work when we run the Cypress open command. It means that we can only hear it when we have the Cypress runner uh, up and running, <laughs> right? And then we can enable this just calling this particular um, kind of environment variable set to true. All right, so let's do it. I'm gonna open here my Visual Studio code, okay? And I'm gonna look for, um, ah, I don't have it. So I'm gonna create a new file. I'm gonna create the cypress.env.json file. And here I just call this particular 
um, environment variable. Okay. So I'm going to set this to true. There it is. Now I'm going to run again my command mpx cypress open. All right. And now when I run my accessibility test, you're going to see the result. I hope that you can hear it. Let's see. Here it is. Now, uh, for instance, if I want to hear the full report, I just have to click here. The spec with name accessibility test .js ran one test in total. Zero test passed. One test failed due accessibility violations. Zero test failed for other reasons. Zero Great. test skipped so, for pending. I just wanted to let you know that you can hear it, right? Also, you can hear just the test, the test that you want. Name, accessibility test. Failed and so on. And also, if you click on the violations detected. The document object model element with selector, Lee data ID equals 173065869655. So on. So masters, this is the integration that I wanted to show you today. If you like this video and you want to implement this plugin, let me know in the comment section. What are your thoughts about this? Right. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you very much, masters. Subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye bye.